she's a member of the Justice League of Atlantis. During the Justice League's comic series, Mira joins one of eight different Justice Leagues. Themed around aquatic powers, Mira joins forces with Aquaman Power Girl Arian, Tempest, Devilfish, and Lori Lemuris to create the short-lived Justice League of Atlantis. The League forms to destroy a mysterious underwater object and its army of cybernetic dolphins and sharks. Wonder Woman decolates her in an alternate universe. Aquaman and Wonder Woman have an affair in an alternate universe established in the Flashpoint comic series. Knowing of the relationship, Mira confronts Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman presents Mira's head to Aquaman, beginning a war between Amazonians and Atlanteans. Fueled by rage, she becomes a Red Lantern. Similar to the Green Lantern's power source, which derives from their strength of will, Red Lanterns gain power through their rage. In the Blackest Night story arc, Mira becomes a Red Lantern and fights corpses of her husband, and son resurrected through the power of the Black Lanterns. Mira's anger is so great, she's able to dispatch these nightmares despite the horror. Mira eventually regains her former consciousness and breaks from the Red Lantern ring, but she nearly perishes in the process. Arthur almost ends her. Mira breaks out of Attard, one to go after her husband again. A fight ensues between the couple, and Aquaman impales her on a jagged rock. Arthur, thinking he's slain his wife, is naturally quite horrified. As the funeral preparations are being made, however, Mira awakens, revealing that her Zebelian physiology makes her different from the Atlanteans evidently being hoisted onto sharp rocks isn't likely to terminate her. Mira suffers a nervous breakdown after her son's passing. Arthur and Mira's first separation and subsequent divorce happens after their child perishes. Mira blames Arthur and attacks him. Afterward, she's institutionalized in an underwater psychiatric hospital, Attard 1, and Aquaman leaves the kingdom of Atlantis. Mira eventually recovers, but her relationship with Arthur remains fractured. Mira tries to save her son, but fails. Fails. When Black Manta kidnaps Mira's son, Arthur Curry Jr., Aka Aqua Baby, Mira goes alone on a quest to save him. Black Manta takes her child and puts him inside a machine that slowly fills with air as he's unable to breathe out of the water. To acquire a healing device, she returns to Zebel, only to find her kingdom has been taken over by the Zebelian traitor, Leron. What's more, Leron's thrown all her belongings and the one scientist who could make the healing device into Zebel's Great Pit. Mira braves the Great Pit, fights Leron's elemental monsters, and defeats the villain. Though she was able to get the device in the end, Arthur Curry Jr passes before she returns. Aquaman and Mira get married and have a son. Throughout Mira's first appearances in the comics, her and Arthur's relationship strengthens and the love between them blossoms. At first, Aquaman refuses to marry Mira. If he marries her, he won't be able to take the throne as King of Atlantis because she's not an Atlantean. They do eventually get married in the Atlantean royal palace, however, and become Atlantis' official king and queen. Not long after, the two have a child named Arthur Curry Jr., Aka Aqua Baby. She initially intends to slay Aquaman. 
Although Mira's original backstory made her the exiled Queen of Zebel, it was altered in 2010 with the Brightest Day comic series. When Mira first comes to Atlantis, she initially intends to terminate Aquaman. The original concept of Zebel also changed to make this storyline possible. Rather than Zebel being an alternate dimension kingdom, it became a long-forgotten penal colony established by ancient Atlanteans. She distrusts the surface world. Asked about Mira's relationship with the surface world, Amber Heard stated her character has a natural antagonistic view of the surface world. Her antagonism may derive from unfamiliarity with the surface, or from her feelings about how people treat the ocean, as suggested by her. Regardless of the source, Mira does not trust the surface world. Throughout the comics, she struggles with her inability to understand or relate to the surface world, and the surface world refuses to accept or respect her. In Aquam Involved, 7-6. Mira goes into a grocery store in Amnesty Bay, Arthur Curry's hometown, to look for her pet dog. The store manager begins to touch Mira inappropriately, so she breaks his arm. Shoppers call the police and a security officer intervenes, but Mira disarms the guard with her aquakinesis. She's later charged with three cases of assault. Mira has the power of aquakinesis. Since Mira's introduction in the comics, she's had the power of aquakinesis. In Justice League Vol. 324, Mira uses her abilities against the Justice League. She traps Superman and Wonder Woman in water, removes Green Lantern's ring, and manipulates the water in the Flash's body to dehydrate him. After the release of Justice League, audiences were disappointed by the absence of Mira's powers. One of the primary dissatisfactions came from the decision to have her character create air bubbles to aid conversation underwater. It was a quick solution to have dialogue underwater, but ultimately unsatisfactory for moviegoers. Luckily, Mira will exhibit more of her powers in Aquaman. Mira is from Zebel, an alternate underwater dimension. When Mira is first introduced, she rules as Queen of Zebel, an undersea kingdom from Dimension Aqua. A fellow Zebelian, Laron, leads a revolution against her and deposes her from her throne. Mira flees, finding refuge with Aquaman in Atlantis. The nature of Zebel and its relationship to Atlantis eventually changes. Rather than being an alternate kingdom to Atlantis in current continuity, Zevil is Atlantis' ancient penal colony, accessible only through the Bermuda Triangle. It was once used to house individuals too dangerous to reside in the kingdom, but modern Atlanteans have long forgotten about it. Mira is the Queen of Atlantis. Mira first appears in 1963's Aquamet 11 as the exiled Queen of Zebel. Through marriage and later her own merit as a leader, Mira becomes Queen of Atlantis. Aquamet remains faithful to some parts of Mira's comic book origins, though many details have changed. According to Amber Heard, Queen Atlanta raises Mira from a young age and expects her to inherit the throne. Queen Atlanta envisions Mira ruling beside King Orm, Aquaman's half-brother and rival. Another notable change in the movie is Mira's relationship with Nereus. In the film, King Nereus is Mira's biological father, but in the comic books, he's Mira's lover. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for your support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.